My next guest is a hero. He helped stop a terrorist uh, attack on a train to Paris. He later played himself in the Clint Eastwood movie, The 1517 to Paris. It reenacted the incident. He's now running for Congress against establishment Dem Peter DeFazio in Oregon's 4th Congressional District. And joining us tonight, uh, Alex Scarlatos. We're great, uh, grateful to have you here on the show. Uh, good to see you. Uh, let's let's start with the race. What differentiates you from uh, a man who has been in that job for quite a while uh, and a card-carrying member of the Radical Dems? Well, absolutely. I mean, I think the biggest difference is that, I mean, he co-sponsored the Green New Deal, and this is a timber exporting district. He votes with AOC 96 percent of the time, and I'm free market, and uh, I'm very pro-God, pro-gun, and he has a D-minus rating from the NRA, I believe, and I just got endorsed and have an A rating from them as well. And as far as the campaign is concerned, we have a lot going for us. We have tons of momentum, and uh, we're really excited. This is actually the closest congressional district in the country that did not go for Donald Trump in 2016. He only lost it by about 550 votes. And uh, we have, it's amazing. so far... <clears throat> $3.7 million raised. So we have a really good shot at this, even though it is in southwestern Oregon. Thank goodness Portland's not in the district. Um, and it's all from small dollar donors across the state <laughs> and across the country. So it's um, it's very exciting. And uh, if any of your viewers would like to support us, they can go for Alec, uh, for Oregon dot com, And we really appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. Uh, let, let's, let's turn to this election because, as Alec just said, uh, his district uh, gave Clinton the win by 0.1 percent, just over 500 votes. Uh, give us a, a sense of it. We, I haven't seen any polling on the district. Uh, is there polling? What do you, how do you judge where you are right now in the race? Well, we've actually we have done some polling. Unfortunately, I don't want to give away any secrets, but we're uh, it's definitely tightening up very quick, as well as uh, even. President Trump and the districts climbing back very rapidly as well. So I think by election day, especially with all the momentum we have going on, it's uh, it's going to be a very close race, one of the closest in the country. But it's one of the few that we actually have a opportunity to take a seat away from the Democrats. And of course, in Oregon, that's always a great talking point as well. Well, uh, we've got up the uh, margin of the wins, Clinton, uh, Obama and Obama. Uh, it's been moving in the right direction for you. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how the the people of Oregon uh, are feeling, uh, particularly in your district. Uh, Portland, uh, it, it, the nation is looking at Portland and thinking everyone in Oregon has to be out of their mind to put up with uh, Ted Wheeler, the mayor, uh, uh, Kate Brown, your governor. I mean, these are these are radical left wing even by the radical dim standards of today. Uh, how does how does a district stack up and how do they react to those so-called leaders? Well, it obviously scares a lot of people away from the Democrat Party to see their reaction. I mean, not only do you have the force mismanagement and all the fires going on on the Cascade Mountain Range recently, but the same party that is OK with these riots also wants to defund the police and take away your guns. So it's pushing a lot of those moderates and even more conservative Democrats towards the Republican Party. Yep. Alec. Alex Scarlatos, great to have you with us. We appreciate it. Running for Congress. Stay with us. We'll be right back.